Cancer. Tell me the answers, baby. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Breath Tarot. I am back at it again for a December end of the year 2023 bonus okay i was about to say 2022 job we about to jump two years ahead in the name of jesus hold on hold on let me take a <laughs> child we is not in 2022 listen i wanted to come in and give a end of the year bonus to everybody um i'm going to do something a little bit different we got a brand new deck that just came in i want to give a big shout out to everyone who has been sending support who's been sending love and christmas gifts through the amazon wish list we just got this for christmas so thank you again this is the cosmic slumber tarot it is a very very beautiful deck you guys so again thank you guys for all the support all the personal and private bookings if there's anyone that would like to have to send some Christmas blessings over here um, or if you want to uh, book a personal private reading check out the description on this video or check out the um, about tab on my YouTube page it gives you the pricing list for the booking and how to connect with me on Instagram if you do not have Instagram for us to conduct your personal private reading email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll help get you all situated over at Google Hangout so again thank you guys for all of the love and support throughout 2020 and in 2021 we are definitely about to have some fun cancer so listen big Shout out to all my cancer boos. Okay, so let's give a quick prayer uh, before we get into the energy today. Again, we're going to be using uh, the tarot dice, which was donated from the Amazon wish list earlier this year. So again, thank you. Oh, what? No, I don't think this was this year. This was last year. We got this. And again, we're going to be using the cosmic uh, tarot deck. So, Father God, thank you again for just waking us up, blessing us with the beautiful, beautiful day. Um, beautiful friends, beautiful family, and just uh, abundance of talents and gifts that we just all possess to ourselves. Father God, thank you for teaching us how to enrich ourselves every day and focus on our purpose, Father God, because we're worth it. We thank you for all of the changes and all the mountains and the barriers and the burdens that you've removed off of our back, Father God. We're feeling light as a feather, and we're definitely floating on faith, Father God. So we thank you so much for keeping us in a safe place and in Jesus name we say amen and thank you so much again for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and future and please give us guidance for the sign of cancer for the rest of the year going into 2021 in Jesus name we say amen all right so let's see what we got cancer let's get three cards let's get three cards for cancer all right Guidance for my cancers. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, the rabbit. Chill. Mm-mm. Little freaky little rabbits. Are you little cancers? It says too much concerns with sexual matters. Chill. Mm-mm. Too much concerns with sex. <laughs> Cancer. Let's see, this little freaky little rabbit been popping out in a couple of signs. Like, what y'all been? Look, y'all just been doing a whole lot in the Rona, huh? Y'all been doing a whole lot in the Rona, trying to have some Rona babies and a whole, whole bunch of stuff, huh? In the name of Jesus. So, look, you got the sun. Happiness and well-being. All right? Then you have the boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. All right? And the owl, good advice from a wise person. So it looks like this, <laughs> all of this sex helps increase your happiness and your well-being. It, it helps keep you just regenerate. Uh, regenerized. Is that a damn word? I don't think it is. Regenerate it. Excuse me, child. I say regenerate. Child, in the name of Jesus, the Lord help me today. Come on, Father, and put your hands on me and just, just shake my head in the name. Just shake it. Okay, listen. I understand that we all need that sexual release and everything, but it should not, I feel like, change your personality or allow you to get real vexed if you're not having the appropriate amount of sex, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, 
you guys need to chill out a little bit. I'm kind of getting, I don't know if there's some of y'all that might have like a borderline sex addiction or something like that. But it's like your mind always kind of just wanders there a little bit. Like even when you could be at work, like you may go venture on Instagram, be looking at some pictures of some dudes and some gray sweatpants or just something like that. Or just can't like control yourself to send a little flirty text or a little sexy picture or just something like that i don't know i just that just gets y'all excited it just it gets you excited it gets you going it gets it's your lifestyle um however i do feel like there needs to be a little bit more focus on your foundation and your goals not so much of sex and intimacy and flirting and dating and getting to know new people i get that that gets your gears going and things like that but there's something else that's on the table that needs your focus and you need to really like put more of attention to that and these boots are made for walking. You need to walk more towards that. I really do feel like someone is putting a little bit more effort towards sex, sexual exploits and intimacy than they do like their creativity and trying to focus on their goals at hand. Focused on a fair woman. The scales. Okay. Dealings with or relationship with a fair woman. With blonde, gray, or white hair. Or this could, again, just be someone that's, you know, light-skinned. Fair-complected. Keep your life in balance. Could be too many thoughts. Y'all, so, okay, so y'all doing the fours today. Everyone else was doing threes. Y'all doing the fours. And, again, like I told y'all, it's, y'all too worried about this individual. And you need to keep yourself balanced. Keep yourself balanced. This dealing with this relationship with a woman with this blonde, gray, white hair, or just fair complected. Like this person is keeping your mind strung up or whatever. It's going to be a short journey. Whatever this is with this situation, that, with this person that you're dealing with, it's going to be a short journey. But pay attention to your money. Whatever frustration sexual frustration or something that you're dealing with this woman it's not going to be for long you need to focus on your money you need to pay attention to your purse too much concerns with intimacy and not enough focus on your bag focus on your bag pay attention to your finances okay mm. all right now cancer let's see the rabbit and the sun, the owl and the boots. If you got headphones on, when y'all see me start grabbing these dice, just go ahead and turn the volume down. Okay, you got the three of cups. Ooh. All right, you got the three of cups. You got the ten of cups. And let's let's see what else we got. And then we got the king of wands. Okay, I am reloaded. Now you guys. I definitely thinking about reconnecting with someone. And this is something about it's like something has been illuminated. You see something now. You understand something now. This is definitely a masculine energy here. Cause I'm not getting too much. It's ever this is a masculine cancer energy, or this is a light, a fair skin, or a light complected older cancer woman here. That has too much concerns about sex and intimacy or something. I don't know. You could be. They're saying some type of nostalgic feeling. It's like, you know, you want to recreate it. You want to feel it again. Like you guys could be celibate if you're a woman. And, and or it could be a situation where someone isn't satisfying you. And you're looking for someone that is balancing that you know what i'm saying that'll balance this desire or something that you have but again it says happiness and well-being so whoever this masculine energy here this king of wands um is a very attractive very this man loves sports um he could be an athlete um he likes building stuff with his hands or doing things with his hands. He may have like very, very rough hands. Like he's a man's man type of individual. Um, he likes to talk a lot and very flirty, a very, very flirty individual. Very flirty individual. 
And I say this because this person is like a likes to socialize. He's like a socialite. Knows a lot of people. Like if in your neighborhood, he could be very popular. Like a lot of people may know this person's name. You know, may always be going out. Always putting a smile on people's faces. I feel like family is very important to this individual. And this person loves to look attractive. This this person can be a person that likes fashion. Loves shopping. Loves going out and enjoying their self type of thing like that. They're definitely thinking about reconnecting or just wanting to go out and date like the three of cups card to me is like someone dating getting to know each other like networking connecting you know schmoozing you know so it's someone that a masculine energy has in mind here um someone that they're thinking about that they want to connect with is ever meeting for the first time with this three of cups or someone that you already know that you want to you know go out again with someone that you definitely can see yourself feeling you know successful in you know family endeavors you can see yourself having a lot of kids with this person like you would love coming home and seeing this person in the kitchen cooking you know, being your wife or something like that. Give me guidance here with the fair woman, the skills, the horse, the short journey, and the purse. Alright. Focusing on your money here. Alright, so you got the world in the reverse. You got the hermit. And then you got the three of wands. So, what this is basically telling me here is... You guys are still finding yourself. You're still finding your way with this world in the reverse. You're still seeking a destination. I don't feel it. You don't feel set up where you're at. But that three of wands is definitely telling me that you're ready to pick up and move and go elsewhere. Like you're just waiting for like the right sign, uh, the right invitation or something. You're searching deep inside with that hermit and you're going through some type of soul journey, some deep inner thought, like you're searching deep within yourself, like, what do I really want? What am I trying to experience in this phase of my life? Because I'm ready to just move on from this chapter and read the next part of this book. Like what, 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 you know, it's as if you're sitting in the house by yourself, deep in thought with a magical pen and you can literally have a blank sheets of paper and it's like this magical book with gold trim on the outside with this magical pen with a feather on it. And you can literally write the next part of your life in this book. However you want it to be like your next face, you can write it. And as if when you close that book, like literally, you better say everything that you want to say. Everything to the detail how you want it to be because when you put that pen down and close that book It is written and so it shall be and when you walk out that door. That's what you're about to experience That's what's about to come into your life. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like as if the magician you have a magic pen and all of that. It's like what am I? What do I want to describe my life as being? What do I want to be? What do I want to live? What do I want my empress to look like? What do I want my finances to look like? All of this stuff is like going deep inside and trying to imagine this world. Because when you step outside of yourself, you're going for it. The three of wands is like, I'm done with the past. I'm headed towards my future and I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. So let me just take a little second here with this world in reverse and hold on because I really have to focus my energy on what is really important to me this time. It's, it's not, I'm not just going on a whim and just allowing shit to happen to me. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm writing this shit down. I'm manifesting it. I'm creating my truth right now. So when I walk out this door, it ain't no shock and when certain shit come to me and people be like oh did you know that you were going to be a millionaire like when it, like you know 10 years ago could you have seen yourself being a yeah because i wrote this shit down i wrote it to, i wrote it 
yes <laughs> you know what I'm saying yes I knew I was going to be successful yes I knew I was going to marry that woman yes so there has is some balance here with this cancer with this woman and trying to find some balance between the time that is going to get to for them to achieve this woman this relationship and get to this money and not forget about this money because it's, it's something here about this woman and having to balance and focus on money and wanting to do it in a short amount of time it seems like interesting indeed let's do a clarification okay And again, thank you guys again for supporting this beautiful deck. I love it already. And this deck has two bonus cards. I've never like got a, a deck with a bonus card in it. Amazing. Clarify the fair woman in scales, the horse in the purse, please. Clap one card. Thank you. The Hierophant in the reverse. So it said. It just said non-committed. Non-committed. I want to say that there was. A problem with being committed. Not being committed before. That's what this world in the reverse. That's why this world is in the reverse. So it's. And why someone is having to repeat a chapter over and over again is because they weren't committed at first. Deeply having to, like if this is what you want, it's certain things that you have to do. You have to look inside. You know what you got to do to obtain this. You want it, but you got to obtain it. You got to do certain things to obtain it and you got to do certain things to keep it. But if you're not committed... If you're not willing to follow the rules and do the certain things that you need to do to advance yourself, like what you want us to tell you, baby? You want to move forward? You have to. It's I'm. You got to follow the rules. And it's someone that has to make a decision about that. It's like being committed to both, and again. Keeping your life in balance. Like. The Hierophant to me represents. A man of faith. A man of. Skill. From higher learning. Doesn't mind like. Humbling himself and saying you know what I don't know everything. Let me listen. The Hierophant in reverse don't listen to nobody. Want to just. Do things their own way and. You know, live their life on a whim. You can't, I mean, I'm not saying you can't do that. You could do what you want to do, but if you don't have any commitment in life, you can't feel any type of way if certain things are committed to you. If certain things that you want in your life, if it's not sticking to you, if you're not able to obtain it, look at, look at your commitments. You know what I'm saying? So it's like someone needs to change and find some type of balance and again like practice faith practice a certain level of standards clarify the rabbit the sun the owl and the boots the five of torches so this is like an uphill battle some level of like competition a challenge this is a challenge in your life and I want to say it has something to do about dealing with some level of sex addiction because it brings you some type of joy and it brings you happiness and things and that's where I feel people constantly feel if they're in your life it's like they're having to compete and with this boot you could be what I say these boots are made for walking and that's what I'll do you know and I'm gonna walk these boots all over you so it's like either yeah, it's it, because again, it's like 
with this rabbit right here in this boot increase your efforts if you want your goal so there's something that you're trying to achieve there's something here that and there's someone here clearly that has your mind running because this person brings you happiness you're seeking good advice from a wise person because you're trying to obtain this happiness it is something that you see in your life that you need to change clearly you're going through some battle within yourself and now you feel like with other people you feel like there's other people that have changed the playing field there may be some competition on your end now right you might not be willing to compete you may not <laughs> be willing to you know Listen to the rules. Listen to, uh, like, cause this hierophant is what I'm getting is like, um, someone like the organizer of the game or something. It's like, you don't want to follow the rules or something of that nature. You do not want to follow the rules. They're saying you have been put in a challenger position right now because someone simply did not want to follow the rules. It's like you decided to do something the hard way. It's like you, someone put their focus too much on this, on sex, instead of something of value. And that's what made your fight different. That's what made your fight different. Wanting to do things your own way. Not wanting to listen. So... These boots are made for, are made for walking. And again, it says, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Someone needs to control their desire for ever thinking that sex controls everything. Letting sex control their life. Letting their sexual desires, you know, control their feelings and... How they operate a little bit. Give me guidance. You got funnel. You got periods of frustration and lessons to be learned. Give me one more. One more. Not four. Coins. And then the sharp. So. You got funnel. Periods of frustration. And lessons to be learned. Coins. Money will be coming to you. There go the money. And then you got the shark. Take care or there will be loss of material wealth. So again, you got to focus on your money. Money, honey. You got to think about your foundation and your coins. You cannot allow like... Because, again, I'm kind of getting like this is someone that is not committed, that's non-committal, that has someone that they're like kind of crushing over and they really want this person. But they're still a non-committal personality. It's like, and now they're worried about some level of competition and all of this stuff like that. And they're allowing this stuff to take focus off of their money. Because I want to say it's like you're too busy looking at someone. One more card, please. Oh, goodness. You got the sun and the sun rise. So this is like a lot of new beginning energy here. Because the sun represents new birth. It represents a new day. It represents, you know, the peak. It's like the peak. It says protection from a powerful friend. The sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. What is this? Lobster, a financial pinch, pitch. <laughs> a dark woman, dealings or relationships with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. So there's two women here. I'm trying to get not to fucking tell. I already knew it, bruh. I already knew it. I already knew it. This is someone here. I'm serious. It's two women in this person's life. You got a fair complected woman. And you got a 
a dark woman dealing with a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. And then you got this fair woman over here. I'm really thinking that the concerns with this one is getting in the way. It's causing some type of battle, some conflict. It's like this is like a race. A competition of some sort. I want to say it's like competition in the mind or ahead of whoever this person is right here. It's like they can't commit to one individual because they're having sexual fantasies or thinking about someone else. Oh God, here go this goddamn song again in my damn head. And we're not even about to do this. Oh gosh, we are not. Because I do not want to. Because like every time this shit keeps popping in my head, I cannot get this song out of my fucking head. And I don't know what video it was. It was some video that right before I started to record this damn Boys to Men, Please Don't Go Away From Me song kept playing in my head. And mind you, I have not heard this song in years since I was like in like middle or elementary school y'all know what i'm talking about it go please don't go away from me when you call my name i'll reach out my hand to you uh ooh, ooh, whatever please don't go away from me we can work it out whatever baby girl please don't go and i'm not even trying to sing right now y'all so please like i'm serious what the fuck uh okay we gonna have to clever for kk what they say say okay okay so listen let me clarify the funnel the coins and the sharp I want a clarification with my cards before I even get into the dot. Because clarify the five of torch, the funnel, the coins, and the shark. And again, it's like you could already have grassroots. This could be someone that's already committed, that already has a happy and loving home, that's already married, that still be out there partying and getting to know other people and like always out with their friends, you know, the king of wands, attractive, double nil, you know, things like that. Be fucking like a jackrabbit like this, you know, jackrabbit just be bouncing around and things like that because it brings the person happiness. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Please clarify this. Please, please, please. It's periods of frustration. Clarify. The Six of Pentacles. So, ooh. Y'all just said I got enough to give around. Like, the Six of Pentacles is someone that's abundant. That kind of looks after and takes care of everybody. That is very giving. You know. That's always trying to be someone's friend. And you know. Has a helping hand and a helping ear. So it's like I, I'm just trying to be a nice person. I'm trying to help people and things like that. You know. I could give a little something over here. And give a little something over there. So again the Six of Pentacles could be someone that is. You know, generously giving to two individuals. Like, you know, I got enough to spread around. But again, take care or there will be loss of material wealth. You know, because the shark is with an apex predator. So it's like a hunter. Right? You could very much so have some coins and you could be in a position to do as you may. But be careful because I really do feel like someone that is being over giving. Like it's like you're giving too much. It's, you're having. It's like you're giving too much ever trying to compete with other people or other people trying to compete to be with you. Everything is balanced in this situation. And I feel like you like things being like that. Like you like people kind of competing. And you deciding who you're going to give to charitably. I don't know. Like I, that, That's what I'm getting. It's like you like a little competition. You like a little 
You like a little arm wrestle. That's what I'm kidding. Why, Jesus? Why? Father, help me. Clarify the hierophant in the reverse. The dog. The sunrise. The lobster. The dark woman. Oh, my goodness. I'm really getting that there's this non-committal type of thing going on. And someone is possibly in love with two people. Is this the Nine of Cups? Or is this... No, this is the Six of Cups. Bitch, this shit look confusing. This bitch got Six Cups. It's Six Cups. Wait a minute. Is this the Nine of Pentacles? God damn it. I think his child, listen. Look at the damn card. Don't they look like a goddamn... Don't they look like a damn six? And then on the other side, it looks like... It looks confusing. It did on this one. It looks like a nine. And it... But she got six... Okay, bitch. Okay, listen. Listen to me, Tonita. I'm going to tell you I'm, I, I got confused, but I'm going to read it back. I'm going to go back. But I'm still going to stay in a safe position where I'm at. Even if this is the Nine of Pentacles, I am still getting the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm staying in this position that I'm at because... Still with the nine of pentacles, this is someone that is successful on their own. They can do what they want. They have enough money to spread around to give to people. If they want I me, mean, think about it. If you're in the nine of pentacles, like, you were good, 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 financially good. So, if you wanted to trick and spend your little money, you know, watching some people run around and, like, having these people feel like, you know... Let me see you get to the top of this hill. I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a prize to. I'm gonna give a little coin to. I'm gonna give a little yeah. You know, uh, ain't not, it's, it's nothing to someone who got it like that to spend to watch a little healthy amount of competition. It's like someone kind of waving the bait in front of people's face and watching them run for it. And it's like this person likes it a little bit. I'm so serious. This person likes people chasing after them, and it's. And I want to say, because with this heart fan here and all of that, this person could very much so already have a happy and loving home. But there's something here where there's still some level of desires to be out there. It's something where there's like an unfulfilled energy where this person is still going inside and, and thinking about it's not thinking about leaving. Like, this person is just waiting for the opportunity to leave. This is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups here um, means it's like wishing to go home. Like, go back. It's like something in the past that is so familiar to this person. It's like they this person wants to take all of the cups and give it you know um i want to say it's like a protected wish they're saying gallantry i'm getting like writing soft loving poems and thinking about dating and thinking about picture pictures and memories of the past and old experiences and stuff like it's something where it was like when love was real that's what they're telling me with this card. This person is going back and forth between their... It's this race going on. Between a fair woman and a dark woman. I want to say this person doesn't know who they want to really be committed to. Because this person is still in the past, but yet in the future. They're in the past and in the future. And they want to love someone so bad, but I want to say that they're confused on how to love. There could be something that, um, there's something still spilling over from the past into the future. You see how it's like they're spilling these cups. So, 
I want to say because it's like, do you see how this girl is running from somewhere? Like, she's running. She's taking all of her cups and it's like she's just spilling every goddamn thing. There's something that's spilling over from a past situation. There's someone that... Okay. I want to say there's someone that could clearly love someone else. But there's something that's still spilling over from a past situation that is... Um, messing up this person's ability to stay balanced. And be committed. And even keep their mind focused on the money. It's like their mind could be somewhere the fuck else. There's a healthy battle and there's a healthy competition that could be going on in someone's mind or in someone's atmosphere here. So let's see. Clarify. What is this? The Nine of Pentacles? The Nine of Pentacles, the Sharp, the Coin, the Funnel. King of Swords in the reverse. You got the Eight of Wands. Okay, it's a lot of communication coming in with money. And then what is this? This is the Seven of Coins. Okay. So it just said like so it's like you're lying to yourself and you're lying to everyone else with this King of Swords in the reverse. A period of frustration and lessons to be learned. It's, they say, could you be lying all the time? They say, someone be lying all the fucking time. Like, be lying all the fucking time. Like, all the time. It's like, where are you going? Oh, I don't know. I'm just, 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 just. It's like, just not a truthful, law abiding citizen. It's like, just not follow. The fucking rules. It's like this person be secretly going back home or something. It's like you should be home, but you be secretly like going back to your mother's house or going back to where you used to call home or something like seeking some level of comfort or. Because I'm getting like someone saying, well, where are you going? Oh, no way. I'm just going to my mother's house. I'm just going to a friend's house. I'm just going to... It's like... Someone keep trying to run back home for some reason. Because there's some type of frustration, I want to say, in someone's house. Because you got the, the three of cups. Again, it's like... I want to say someone goes out too much. It's like you always... Like you're not home. This is the ten of cups right here, right above... This, it's like you could be always on a move. Someone moving around too much. So like a lot of communication. Is there like a lot going on? This person could be saying that, you know, they're doing stuff for money. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're working. It's like, you know. And it could very much so be that this person is hitting the fucking target. Like, whatever their financial goals that they've been trying to achieve, it's coming in. There could be some competition and some frustration going around. All of these new friends that you have. Like, where the fuck all of these new friends come from? You know what I'm saying? It's like the, the hyperfit in the reverse. And like, I, you know, no, these people I grew up with. No, it's not. Like, you're a fucking lying, Mo. Like, you're a lying, bruh. You're a shark in the water. It's like, this, this, like, I'm sorry. I am so sorry about it. Like, this, like, the king of swords in the verse is a fucking liar. It's a liar, it's a cheater, a manipulator. But there's lessons going, this person is going to learn a lesson from doing this. The shark in the water, take care or there will be loss of material wealth. The seven of coins. It's like expectancy. A lot of times when you see the seven of coins, you see someone like expecting a child. So I am getting that because this is a, like a lot of fast movement. This is something that can happen real fast if you don't pay attention. There could be a lot of in and out, a lot of back and forth, a lot of crisscross applesauce. So you better dot your T's 
I mean, you better cross your T's and dot your I's and not the other way around. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, especially with the too much concerns around sex and things like that. So, if there are people... These boots are made for walking. That's what I'm going to do. These boots are made for walking all over you. Like, if that's what you're trying to do is, like, walk around and create this, like, healthy competition and shit. Like, you're achieving what you're trying to do. But just pay attention to what you're doing because you may think that there's a lot of money going around. You may have a lot of money to go around and entertain this shit. But if a unexpected pregnancy come you got enough money for that you got enough money for that I don't know cuz I'm getting like unplanned pregnancy here it's like you ain't got no ten of coins my nigga do you understand what I'm saying somebody there could be someone in waiting in next seventh month of pregnancy right now you know like this is someone waiting for something looking at Everything that they have, like, try to create and what it's produced. Like, taking stock, taking inventory of what I have now and can I stretch it? How long will it last? Do I feel like this tree will bear a full production of fruit? Will I ever get the Ten of Pentacles here? You know, is this worth waiting for? What am I doing? How am I going to invest my money? I've already had so much grow out of this. Is this enough or should I keep going type of thing like that? There's a funnel of frustration coming in. It's going to be some money coming in. And over here it did say something about a fucking financial pinch next to a dark woman. So you guys could like, I want to say, I don't know why I'm kind of getting like another baby though. And I want to say something that you kind of didn't expect a little bit. Mm. Cause it's like lady in waiting. Cause they're saying like lady in wait. There's a lady in waiting. Cause a lot of times you always picture with the seven of coins like a woman that's like expecting a child like the seventh month of pregnancy or something like that let's see the dog the sunrise the lobster the dark woman Child, you got the goddamn okay. You got the King of Pentacles, you got the Hierophant, and then you got the Three of Swords. So again, this is a married man. This a married and committed goddamn man that is out there cheating. The King of Pentacles represents a married man. The Hierophant represents a married a person that's in a commitment. The Three of Swords represents someone that is committing adultery. Backstabbing someone, hurting someone, pain. Remember with someone who felt like they had enough to go around like financially. Like they kind of felt like they got it like that. Good, gracious, alive, mercy, help me. All right, let's do this last spread and get on up out of here, Cancer. Give me three cards for Cancer. Oh, okay. Three cards for Cancer. We got the kite. A vacation we got the letter V okay so V may be a very important letter it could be the letter to someone's name but you got victory in some endeavor and the letter V you got you got the dolphin financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past Cancer not worried about no money. I'm just so serious. I'm so serious. So, well, let's see what's going on here. Give me three more cards. Oh. We got the tortoise. We got the pail. And then one more. Thank you. 
And then you got the bread. Now come on now. Slowly but surely getting ahead. The pill. Time to get out of a situation. And then you got the bread period of prosperity and abundance. So what I'm getting here is you guys are definitely need to take a vacation. I don't know if this is like a physical competition or a competition within your spirit and your mind because the three of swords can most definitely be the mind. Could be the mind. And like I said, there's a healthy competition. There's a healthy battle going on. There's someone that has a lot to give that feel like they have a lot to give. But there's a problem with commitment. I don't know if there's an issue with someone being off balance trying to figure out who to be committed to. But you got the dog there, protection of a friend. There's someone... Protection from a powerful friend. There's someone that has your back. And I want to say that has been. Helping you in this situation. Kind of see the sunlight. So they could be like a friend or somebody that. It's like a role model or something to you. That is like helping you see things a new way. This could be someone that you know from back home. This could be an old friend or something, like a colleague or something. And again, a financial pinch with a dark woman. So I want to say it's like having to be careful in this situation because someone's hunger and greed for this can cause a financial pinch with this person because they don't know how to control this <laughs> yo so let's see let's see clarify the kites the vacation victory and financial Game, please clarify kite v and dolphin. Okay, having to put the swords down, like finally coming to a conclusion and making a decision. You need to just take some time, take a vacation, figure out what you need to do, and number one, figure out if you're going to be committed. If you're not going to be committed, like I don't know what I don't know. Nah, I don't know. I kind of want to go in on this Hierophant a little bit, but I don't want to make this video a little bit too long. Um, seriously, making a decision, a wise decision, a wise choice. You can't be two places at one time. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. I don't feel like how much time you got. That is, it's just not the right way. It's not the right way. That's why you got so much Confusion ever going on inside of you or physically having to, to compete. It's an upwards battle. It's an upwards battle. You may have everything that you need to yourself, but again, someone needs commitment and needs to love somebody, someone that they really love. Clearly, this person is still communicating and getting to know people searching for love and commitment in a happy home king of wands you know all of this stuff like that right so things will not be off balance when you really go inside with this hermit card and again write it down you try to move on you want a new world you want to paint a better and a bigger picture then do it you clearly need to get out of a situation and slowly but surely it seems like you're doing it. It seems like once you get out of a situation with someone that ever you don't want to be with. Because you're, I mean, it's like you're hurting everyone in the situation. And it's like, I know you feel like you got it all figured out, but you don't. Because... This woman going to come up behind you and going to get that money, honey. Mr. King of Pentacles. 
And he got the four pinnacles right there, too. This is someone that don't like spending his money. He do not like giving his money to nobody. He do, mm-mm. He do not, unless it's something that he really, really feels like he want to invest and give himself to with this seven of pinnacles. This person sits back and watches their money grow. Do you understand? <laughs> like, they do not like really parting their penny unless it's something that has to do with this. Like, I'm... I'm honestly getting too much concerns with sexual matters. Uh, if it has something to do with some sex, or if it has something to do with spending some money to get some money, that, that person don't mind coming up off no coin. But just off of some regular rigmarole, just because someone feel like the, they feel the king of coins need to give them some money because they mad about something. Not the king of coins don't operate like that. You understand? So, take some time. Take a vacation. Think about what this letter V, this victory, is to you. Dolphins are one of the smartest water animals, period. You guys are water sign. You are smart. You are very intelligent. Think about what victory and success is. What victory and success looks like in the situation. Take a vacation. Think about it. Come to this decision. Take the blindfold off. Get off your ass and start moving. And hopefully you'll be committed to it. Do you understand? But you need to put your swords down. You know, instead of having them up, being in this battle mentally in your head. And then again, this could be two different options, two different situations. You need to choose. You need to choose. Let's clarify the tortoise, the pail, and the bread. And again, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So it's like you've done, you've done well before. Like you, you, you've done it before. Like you can do it again. Or, or you know what you got to do is just doing it. So let's see the pail, the bread, the tortoise. Clarify that, please. Oh, the ace of cups. So slowly but surely you're getting ahead. I feel like you're realizing what love is. And what you consider love. And who you want to love. The pale. It's time for you to get out of a situation. That has to do with love. And you know what I'm talking about. The bread. Prosperity and abundance. Is coming. It's coming. It's, it's something about with this group here. Um. It's like love and finances go hand in hand. Like as long as your love life is good, your finances is good. <laughs> when your finances ain't good, your love life ain't good. When your love life ain't good, your finances ain't good. It's like it goes hand in hand. It, it one feeds the other. So it's like this person needs a healthy sex life. Um, the one thing that has just been fucking it up. Is, th is this right here, bruh? This right here. Right here, right here. I do kind of want to, I want to be nosy. Y'all always be having these interesting ass goddamn readings and I be wanting to be nosy. I want to go to the kipper, don't skip her. Ciao, cheese. What is going on? What's going on? So, clarify the Hierophant in the reverse and the Five of Twitches. Please clarify and give advice on this. Occupancy, unexpected income. Mm -hmm. So, this can have something to do with your job. This can have something to do with your job. The Hierophant can also do with like an organization, like being a part of some staff or something. You guys may like just up and just quit your job. Really. Really. I want to say that's could possibly cause some financial pinch or whatever because the unexpected income in the reverse is like money that was coming in 
is now going out and ain't nothing coming in for some reason. I want, it's like you decide you didn't want to do anything no more. You got tired of competing. You got tired of this frustration of always feeling like you were being put up against somebody. And it's like, I, I want to leave. Um, it's like someone could... I want to say it's like... I, I don't know if someone lost their job or... I don't know if this has to do with work. Or if this has to do with a relationship at work. Okay, hello? This could, like, someone could be. I want to say something could be going on at a job. Clarify the hyphen in the reverse, the five of wands, the occupation, and the unexpected income. The Queen of Swords you could be dealing with a Gemini. What is this? Aquarius. Um, child Libra. Why am I fucking forgetting? A Gemini Libra Aquarius. Queen of Swords in the reverse. She ain't happy in the universe. In the reverse. The world in the reverse. So I want to say this could be someone. That you could have met on a job. This could this could very much show be someone that you met on a job. It's like your world got turned all around. Whoever this woman is is very angry and upset. Um, she can definitely feel frustrated. I want to say you guys cannot be talking to each other, and if you do speak to each other, it could be very volatile. Um, they're saying this is like an angry coworker. It's a woman that just, she don't like you. And she's going to get in the way of your fucking money. It's like this woman wants blood. Look, she wants blood. Look, she wants blood. She's after blood. I don't know if there was someone that could have been cheating with the co-worker or something, but... This woman is going to turn your world upside down. And it's like where you thought you were going somewhere. You ain't going no motherfucking where. It's like you weren't being committed. This could be like unexpected spousal support. Or unexpected. Like you unexpectedly having to pay extra alimony. Or child support. Spousal support. Some type of support. It's like she's going for blood blood remember they were saying like the dark woman and the lobster and it's like your dog is trying to she's going for blood blood you hear me blood something could have been illuminated to her she could have had some protection from a powerful friends that could have told her something that could have shined the light on something. She got a new idea. Financial pinch. <laughs> like. It could be someone very much so coming after your money. I don't know if you work with her. Or if you work with someone that she knows. That is telling her about something that you're doing on the job. Where you're not following the rules. Of this organization these requirements something there's some type of challenge frustration arguments people not listening to each other not getting along like mm -mm, at this job and something is going to affect this money at this job okay shit you might have to go back home i don't know I don't know. Because again, the king of freaking pentacles, the hierophant, this person was committed. This person already had a certain standard of life. And I already told y'all that. The person was already married. Ten of cups. Out there frolicking. Look. Love on the side. Love is on the side, y'all. I'm done. I'm done. This has been too messy. I'm done. And cancers always do this to me. They always do this to me. And I'm done. 
y'all make your y'all make sure y'all tip y'all reader <laughs> tip your reader i'm going bye